this can become a beautiful game because it is game of life beautiful game life is tempting you come here come here come here this is how you surrender to it and gracefully navigate it Of course, my name is Lanka Lutonska, author of Energy Excelling and Marketing, and it's my freaking privilege to take you through this incredible information, which has came through me just very recently, uh, one random moment, and I shared it already with my master, my clients, and my clients, uh, because uh, I just know that this uh, will massively support you in uh, gracefully navigating uh, your journey from where you are to where you want to be, to that dream, to that I, I blew my socks off. I, uh, I, I did it. I did it. I did it in whatever sphere of your life. Um, because you see, and I would love to actually start there. Uh, you all are here because you navigate it with a title, uh, nine stages of quantum leap. So what is that quantum leap for you? You're ready to quantum leap. I take it, you know, that's a very safe mind read. That's, uh, I think is going to be very accurate. Um, you're ready to quantum leap or you're in the middle of quantum leaping. So what is that quantum leap for you? What would that be uh, that sense that I did it, I did it? Would it be financially based? Would it be something, I don't know, perhaps in business, you're launching something incredible. Would it be in your relationships? Would it, would it be in relation to yourself? What would that be? Um, for you that you would know that you've done that quantum leap, that you did it, that you manifested it. And whatever it is, and please do share it with me, this uh, masterclass is going to be from the heart, sharing with you uh, what I do and help my clients with um, to create mind-blowing results. Uh, the quantum leap is a sudden radical change. It's a uh, it's when in one moment, something like oh, everything shifts and your business go from, from here to five times, 10 times more. Your, your revenues are incredible. Your clients are coming to you uh, or maybe it's in a relationship. Yesterday you were not in love. Today you're in great relationship or uh, it can be body change. It, it can be in any area of your life, but it's a sudden radical change and growth. So what is it for you? I want to hear. And these nine stages is going to help you to take the unknown out of the equation. Because isn't it so that when we go for something big and by all means, if we talk about quantum leaps, they probably feel big to start with, right? When we go for something big, when we stop tolerating where we are and who we are and we stop tolerating that we don't have what we deserve, that we not are who we deserve to be and commit to it fully, we are stepping into what feels unknown. We haven't been there before. It's a new path to pave. Um, there is chaos. In fact, we are stepping into pure divine feminine energy, which is dark, energy it feels like unknown and yet it's not unknown it's infinite field of possibilities and the process of creating these radical changes and growth and quantum leaps is in fact very predictable process it's a very precise process and it's um, governed by the universal laws so today we're going to talk about that. What are the, those universal laws and what are those nine stages? So you assure your human, your human mind. So you can be calm when ship is like this, you know, when the seas are rough, because that can happen. That probably will happen on a way because you'll know exactly what is happening and what is asked of you. Okay. So let's dive right in. So first stage or step, if you like, is simply activation. This is the moment when you simply activate one potentiality out of 
millions and trillions of different potentialities in the universe as your own, as this is who I am. This is the moment that comes with some sort of a very strong, powerful decision. We sometimes call them non-negotiable decisions, right? Uh, it's uh, when you set intention, this is who I am. Let's say I'm here in my business now, but I know I'm not fulfilling my potential. Uh, and I know I can do 10 times more and I'm not going to tolerate where I am anymore. I'm stepping into something greater. You said maybe tangible goal. Uh, and what you do in that moment, you activate that potentiality in the, the universe within you because anything and everything is truly possible for us all the possible outcomes all the possible way forwards slow fast easy hard um, growth logical growth mind-blowing growth all those potentialities are available to us uh, i like to compare this to a cinema where you've got to put a slides into the projector so you can actually see them on the screen playing in front of you in form of life, in form of your tangible experience. But you have as the master behind the project, projector, you have already available uh, all the possible millions and millions of movies and slides that are already there energetically, it's all pure potentiality. It all pre-exists. But it's the calling in our hearts, feeling, desire, calling for it. They will let us know that particular movie is for me. Me as a, I don't know, seven figure business owner. Me as a wildly wealthy woman. Me as a wildly loving woman. Me as a woman full of freedom and purpose and love whatever it might be, the calling in our heart will tell us what is in complete alignment with our soul and what is, you know, what our soul wants us to do, how the universe specifically wants to express itself through you. So we do, and we do it in the first stage of this quantum leaping when we say, that movie is me. This choice, out of a million other choices, that's me. That's me, a setting very strong intention. It's done, I'm gonna do it. And oftentimes you feel in it as a really strong, typically as a very strong energy in your body. You light up with that possibility. You light up, you know, I can do it. It's like, oh my goodness, this is me, I can do it. This is when you activate um, that possibility that is rightfully yours. And this is when you activate the entire quantum leaping process. Now, I want to hear from you, um, whether you already, and most likely, yes, most likely or you already experienced this first stage activation, setting intention, setting, if you like, non-negotiable goal, uh, deciding that this is, what I claim, nothing else, no settling. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll, I'm willing, I'm willing to walk the journey, okay? Let me know if you've already activated in most of you, yes. If not, you can do it today because this is available to all of us. What you're doing here with this first stage of activation, you are essentially activating the magician consciousness within you. And for me, it happened several times, of course, along the way. Uh, but I remember when, um, now it will be many years ago, probably seven years ago, doesn't matter. When I was uh, after the loss of my first business and I was driving home from millionth, I'm exaggerating, networking event where I was uh, offering my services for free. I was speaking for free and trying to network with others in a hope to get new clients. 
I was, however, broke. I was financially broke. And no matter how much I gave, there were no buyers. Or the client came once in a blue moon, once in a blue moon. And I was asking myself, I remember this one particular time when I was driving home. And uh, um, again, I just finished this speech and I felt like, fucking hell, I'm sick and tired about wearing this mask of successful woman. When I feel like absolute broke inside, I don't have clients, I'm struggling financially, I don't have once my successful business. What, but I'm trying so hard. I'm working so, so hard. And it's not happening. And I was asking myself, what is wrong with me? I was crying. What is wrong with me? There must be something wrong with me because anyone who is trying so hard, surely there must be some results. So what is wrong with me? And as I was continued driving with tears in my eyes, it's almost like a moment of wisdom came over me. And that was this quiet voice of assurance saying, look, if you dream it about it, it's because you're meant to have it. There is no way you would be able to want something, genuinely want something and didn't have it within you already, that potentiality within you already and all the resources you need to make it happen. This is the real you. The dream is a real you. And so I ac accepted that as, as soothing at that moment as if I can, if I truly want it, and I really want it to share my gift, to work with people, to have that successful business. And even though my circumstances were rubbish in complete opposite direction into it, I told myself, no, nothing wrong with me. I cannot give up. I cannot give up. It must be so. So that day, Again, I activated the magician consciousness. I activated the process as I'll do whatever it takes. I take the, take the next step, whatever it might be. I'm giving myself to this dream, to this potentiality. That makes sense, right? That is available to all of us. So if you have not strongly activated that which you truly want, I'll invite you to do it today. And one word of advice here, one final one. Go freaking big. The reason why is there is no point to talk about the rest of the stages of that quantum leaping if you are setting that goal, if you're activating, so to speak, you're doing that first step, first stage from one of your shadow archetypes, i.e. from the lower mind. So... How does it look like if we do some form of activation or for ease of explanation, goal setting or setting intentions? If we do it from a place of, from shadow self, from lower mind. So the victim in you would set a goal, something like, and I've done all of this. God knows I've done all of this would set intention something like, I pray, I pray that something or someone will come and save me. Like what was leading to my business, not bankruptcy, but complete fall down first time was because before in my first business, I wanted to grow, but I didn't believe I can do it myself or big part of me. And I prayed for someone who can save me and help me grow. My wish was granted. My wish was granted, except he turned out a psychopath who eventually brought my entire business down. But my wish was granted because that's how victim says go. I hope, I pray, I pray, I hope, I find something outside of myself that I believe I don't have. I'm powerless. If you're setting intentions from this place, don't. Instead, spend your time, spend time with your inner victim. There is no shame in it. We all have inner victim, even if we like to think we don't. And spend time with that aspect of you, giving her a ton of love because inner victim is, 
essentially our sufferer, inner sufferer with lots of scars. But through those scars and wounds, the light will come. And Rumi said that the light can enter, but that needs a ton of love. So attend to your inner victim, let, uh, let her talk, et cetera, et cetera. But the point here is we don't want to be activating anything from our victim, victim archetype. Logician archetype, sometimes called saboteur, would set goals and activate from place of right. Last year, I'm looking at my figures here, Last year, I did this much money. So this year, maybe I can do double. I mean, that would stretch me. So maybe 50, maybe 30%. Okay, but you know what? That would stretch me, but I can do it. I can, I can stand behind it because I know what I've done. So if I continue growing in the same rate, this is what I will do, okay? Or... Uh, it will be something like right now I'm used to serving this many clients. So I want more, like three more, five more, 10 more. Logic, 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 logic. It's fine. I mean, you can do that, but there won't be a quantum leap at the end of it because you are driven by logic, by what your eyes can see, what your ears can hear, what you can verify by your physical senses. That's our logical mind. And logical mind will take us somewhere, but it won't take us into the, those mind blowing results. Like, you know, when my clients come, they're walking, oh my goodness, I never did 100K months. It's like, feels huge. Some of them walk away having done 500, 900, 1 million a month. How is that even possible? That's mind blowing. That can never happen through logic alone, never. So again, logician is one of the archetypes of our psyche, of our energy, and it's fine. There is a place for our logician, but not when we activate and not when we are quantum leaping. So again, ask yourself, who is setting my goals here? What am I actually activating? Then we have a prostitute archetype as one of our survival archetypes. And um, this one will, you can set goals in any way, but you will not be able to pull all your energy behind it to start with because uh, you know that th that's going to mean so much work, so much work. Like you're going to think like, oh my goodness, okay, let's say, again, let's put this in context of business. I'm running now, let's say, six-figure business. I want to run seven-figure business. That's like 10 times more. Like, I'm already, look, I'm already serving clients and I feel lots of resentment because I'm giving them so much and I'm left with so little time. And so, gosh, you know, uh, I don't know how I'm going to do that. But, you know, let's, Let's activate. Let's set that non-negotiable decision because I really, 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 really want more money, more freedom, more everything. And maybe that the easiest way to do it is discount everything I have by 90% and sell for very little because at least I'll get paid something. I'll get closer to what I want. So essentially, right, maybe sometimes right from the beginning or sometimes any stage of the process, we sell our sense of self-worth for some form of security. I'd rather have a little bit of money, even though I discounted like crazy. And then I end up overextending myself, overgiving myself. Have we not all been there at some point? If that's the case, again, this needs to be looked at because that makes all of these nine stages a lot more tricky. Tricky. You cannot scale. The, it's It's... At one point, I was guiding one of my clients who, at the end, she got through those nine stages and just recently created results that made her feel like, I'm freaking out. I'm so, created so much abundance in such a little time. I'm freaking out. Beautiful, beautiful. That's quantum leap. But what led to that was a period of long period of lack and you'll 
I'll explain during those nine stages why did it happen and how did we navigate it? How do we navigate it? But nothing. And I was asking her, look, I want you to think about something. You want to scale your business like 10 times, 20 times, 100 times, right? You want to scale your impact. What do you have financially? You want to scale your business. When you're scaling your business, however, you're not just going to scale amount of money you have or amount of clients you have. You're not just going to be scaling that. You're going to be scaling everything what you have today, emotionally, how you feel, who you think you are, amount of stress you have in your life or lack of it, amount of pleasure you have in your life right now, or the lack of it. You're going to scale everything. So sometimes when you're not growing, it's like literally the universe's way to protect you from more stress, more resentment, more desperateness, more need. And prostitute archetype has a lot to do with it. So these are one of the things you, you might want to attend now um, or at any point. But you want to scale. What do you want to scale? What do you want to scale? What do you want to scale? You want to scale love, pleasure, freedom. Yes? And that that you can create now without that symbolism that represents your quantum leap without the millions you can be have incredible sense of freedom you can be free without having millions in your bank account you can be free while you're in debt you can be free while you have very little you can be free, insanely free, completely free, while you're not have yet the incredible financial results you want. Because guess what? Freedom is emotion. It's energetic state. Yes. You're writing some stuff here. Love, pleasure. These are all emotions all emotions so the most powerful way and the, the that's the way how we activate the first day and the first stage of quantum leaping is tapping into magician consciousness when we simply acknowledge ah, i can have whatever i choose and calling in my heart desire in my heart is all the evidence i need that I'm meant to have it. It's me. It's real me. Therefore, go big. Go big with your desires. Go big with your activations. Go big with your intentions. Because you know what else happens? When you go big and you acknowledge like, ah, that's real me. That's me. That's me. And I'm giving myself to it. You're awakening the most powerful aspects of your divine feminine and masculine. This is that when that oneness can happen, the masculine and feminine coming together, creating, giving birth to life, if you like. Because without it, if you do it like logician or, you know, like, hmm, it's great, but, you know. It, it, you can you will not have sustainability to go through those nine stages you will not have that staying power that commitment that that emotional spiritual fire in a belly to take you through the rest of the stages you want to activate fully and you activate it fully only when you go big bigger than life and when you acknowledge it yes that's me because it's calling of my heart yes that's how the universe wants to express itself through me. In fact, yes, that is who I already am. I just haven't accepted it fully yet. And that is going to be my journey. That is going to be the rest of nine stages. The journey of acceptance. It's going to be emotional journey. The journey of closing perception gap. The journey of closing belief gap. Energetic journey. Yes? So first stage activation, second stage, once you activate and you acknowledge this is me and this is me and I'm giving myself to it, I'm eliminating all other choices, choices, 
The second stage, you instantly step into second stage, which is new awareness. It's a higher awareness. It's like your energy suddenly opens, your mind will suddenly opens to such potent ideas that simply you did not have access before because now you activated that potentiality. Now you activated yourself. You step into that magician consciousness. So suddenly you become aware, ha, ah, I could do it this way or maybe I could do it that way. Also, you will become start becoming deeply aware of what is no what you have in your business, in your life, that no longer is in alignment with who you really are. So you will become aware that, ooh, this program I'm running, uh -uh. I was running it out of, you know, I didn't want to abandon my clients, but it's old. It feels like old me. And it's just not aligned with who I really am or the pricing is not aligned or something is not aligned or the way I've been running my business, the way I've been uh, running my love life, the way I've been delivering my service, it's not aligned with who I am anymore. You're becoming, you'll become deeply aware, more and more aware of what patterns you're running, what you currently have, do, are, that is simply not aligned with what you just activated, with who you really are. And this is a magical space, new awareness. I mean, who doesn't love a new potent ideas and awareness? We do, right? There is just one little thing in here that I see amongst the clients can happen and it's not very healthy. So I'm going to share that with you. And that is that, A, um, we, as we become aware of uh, maybe a number of, let's say, personal patterns I've been running that are no longer going to serve me, we, 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 we can't, like, for instance, yeah, like, I'm overgiving now, I'm charging too little for way too much, and I'm resentful, I'm tired, etc, uh, etc. Et so I've got to stop that. I've got to stop that. That's not aligned with who I am, let's say. And as we write these things down, maybe what is needs to go, what needs to go. We can become overwhelmed. The human in us can become overwhelmed because like, oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. A lot of changes. And that means a lot of time. This is one of the assumptions of human mind, logician, that lots of changes require a lot of time. And today I invite you to let go of that belief, to let go of that assumption if that's what you think. Changes don't take long time for, it, for them to happen. In fact, changes happen instantaneously. Any change happens instantaneously. If you identify, let's say, a lot of energetic blocks or limiting beliefs or anything along the way that no longer serve you, it doesn't mean you need to spend years in therapy or in coaching, or with journaling, to let them go. Yes, sure, you may use your journal. You will. You may help want to treat yourself and get help with therapy, coaching. Absolutely. But the time when it comes to the changes is relevant to you. Time, just as, as anything else, is energy, it's, it's human mind filter via which we perceive and can have this experience. So time exists on a human level, 3D level. But energetically, we know everything is happening in infinite moment of now. So when you're working towards your quantum leap, it's not time away. It's not time away. You don't have to go through years of proving, changing, or whatever it is that, um, um, you know, you, you make your way there, okay? Even though there will be some time, there will be some time to complete this process. How long? I don't know. I cannot tell you. 
Sometimes it's days, sometimes it's weeks, sometimes it's months. But I want you to be aware of, about your assumptions you make about time when it comes to making changes, integrating your shadows, um, achieving your goals, anything, achieving your intentions, anything, yes? So when this awareness comes, the higher awareness, second stage, we become aware of a lot of stuff. Oh, milk this stage. Yes, this is the time to journal. This is time to feel. This is the time to re, re, you know, enforce that feeling of that magician, that real you in your body. And from here, you go pretty much immediately into third stage. New choices and decisions. New choices and decisions. Because you will become aware in uh, this uh, second stage, new awareness of those potent ideas that will help you to make it happen, but also what doesn't belong there anymore. You will start making those choices in alignment with the true self. So it may be about new choice or decision to deselect some of your current products or, or your current relationship, if that's a really shit one or whatever, you know, I'm, I'm making it up. Uh, or, you know, it's to launch the dream program of yours that before you said, ah, you know, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. But now you are, you know, because now you activated it, you know you're ready. So you're going to launch that incredible program or product or service that, that excites the heck out of you, that puts your soul on fire. So you start making those decisions, whatever they might be, okay? Now, this is typically uh, where... Uh, the logician and other archetypes, other, you know, the victim archetypes and logical mind, you know, the program mind slowly started to creep in, you know, as in activation is a new awareness, good. I mean, starting making new choices like, ah, because it's not enough to make the choice and make the decision. You've got to do step four. And that's that movement forward or take quantum action. Stage four, take quantum action or simply create that movement forward based on those new choices, new decisions you made. Now, that's typically over here in, in that, you know, making those decisions and then actually moving forward with it typically awakens our lower mind archetypes. The logician will say, you're freaking crazy. Who you think you are to do that? Look at you. Look at what you have. Look at who you are. You can't possibly do that. Inner child will wake up. Gosh, you, this is going to end up in disaster. You're going to fall. You're going to uh, die. I mean, this is, you're going to see the monster. This is, you've never done it before. This, this is going to, oh, no. Your inner child will say, gosh, nobody is doing it this way. Your people are going to criticize you. I'm not going to be long. I'm scared. Whew. And you'll do it anyway. You work with whatever fears come up. And you lean and go through that edges of fear. And you do it anyway. You take that quantum action. Because those edges are the edges of your normality, edges of who you are. So fear is a natural, very natural part of this process. And I think most of you, if not all of you, can relate to this, right? As inevitable, if you're going after something really meaningful, something that will change your life, and in the process, most likely lives of many other people, you've got to come against your edges. And you've got to go through them. So this is the moment when you take that quantum, what I call quantum action, perfectly aligned action with that new you, with that activation, with who you really are. You take that quantum action. You create that movement forward. You bust through those edges. And you step into that, what we call unknown. And what your higher self knows to be that infinite field of possibilities so in here so this is the stage four movement forward 
okay? So now you are, you're, you're swimming in that infinite possibilities. Inevitably here, you step into that stage where you're going to experience one or more, and this is the stage five, alchemical points. Please write this down because this will need a deeper explanation. Stage five, alchemical points. Alchemical points. Alchemical points. These are presenting itself as challenges after we already took the quantum action, after we already made the choice and step forward, create that forward momentum that is in alignment with who we really are. And they come in all sorts of um, challenges. Sometimes it's, I'm aiming for far more. I'm here to scale my business and that's my quantum, quantum leap, massive financial leap, let's say. But what will start happening instead, you may lose lots of clients all at once. Or stuff, st stuff starts to break down. Computer, car, something else on the top of it, just, just so. So lots of deselection is happening. Anything and everything that is not aligned with who you really are now will naturally, whether you like it or not, will deselect itself. Maybe clients start to back out. It can be um, some form of family drama. You launch a course and somebody in your family gets sick that needs all your attention so you cannot launch properly. It can be you took that quantum action, you put yourself out there and suddenly uh, there is some big drama because somebody accused you of copying them or somebody is publicly defaming you or whatever it might be. Have you ever experienced things like that? That we're truly committed and we take that quantum action and just the opposite seems to be happening. Yeah. Somebody says, I hate when this happens. I hate when this happens. Yeah, human in, her, in us hates it. Human in us hates it. And I tell you what, this is where 99.9% .9 of people go back to the safety, go back to pre-stage one. Like I'd, no, this is not, they will, they will say, you know what? I don't know. I think I did something wrong. I tried, I tried because, um, but you know, I can't take this. This is, you know, I wanted more. Why have got less now? Uh, I wanted more peace. Why have got less, more drama now? What they don't realize, and this is what makes you different. What they don't realize is that when this happens, this is not an evidence that what you do is not working. This is not that. It's in fact evidence that it is working, that you're on a way because you entered the stage of alchemical point or points. And I'll explain what is really happening here. So I'm going to draw for you something. So for, give me a little bit of... Uh, Oh, let's use the paintbrush. Let's see what happens. Okay. Can you imagine with me infinite number of possible realities, timelines? It's almost like a web. Almost like a web of infinite possibilities and timelines in the universe. This is just... Uh, for our logical mind to understand what's happening here and what are the alchemical points, yes? So, imagine infinite web of possible timelines, possibilities, yes? When you set intention, when you activate, you kinda 
highlight it. Let's do something stronger. Um, marker here. Okay. You highlight it. So let's say you highlight that this is who you're meant to be. This is your, let's say, seven figure business timeline, seven figures business self. However, right now, you are as old self, you know, you were unconsciously doing this. Like this is your, let's say, six figure self or current self, whatever it is, with whatever circumstances it's coming. Yes. Alchemical point is this point. It's a point between two timelines. Okay. So you, with your activation, you highlighted this possibility. You like activated it. Okay. This is who I truly am. And now I make my energetic journey to be it fully, to accept that, accept fully that I am. So I can translate that energy into physical experience. I can decode the energy. So you start, you know, making those new choices and uh, start taking that quantum action. But you must get to one or maybe few, maybe few alchemical points that will actually lead you to go instead of continuing on the same trajectory to your new, to your better, to your higher, to your millions, to your whatever that quantum leap is. Crossroads, if you like. Crossroads. It's a crossroad where you have the choice to continue as your old self or fully embody the new self with some choice, with some perspective and choice. And if, and I'll simplify this, so this is the old and this is the new or other way around. So let's say this was your old self and you got into this bloody challenge, okay? So you can absolutely continue as your new old self by running into safety, by making yourself smaller in that space. By, accept, by acknowledging that, you know what, this is not working or by taking it that, okay, maybe I'm doing something wrong or how long is it gonna take or what the heck is happening here? You can do all that. Or you can take this as an opportunity to embody fully the energy of your real self. So what's asked of you here is to Embrace the duality of your creation and to hold what's happening here in the energy of your real self. Now, and I'll wrap this because this is a complicated sentence. I'm sure you might have heard me speaking about uh, the duality of your creation or some of you. So... Duality is mechanism of the universe, how things are created, how we manifest things. And everything and anything, if you've got something positive, we'll have a negative. Doesn't mean good or bad, it's positive and negative, okay? So let's say if uh, your quantum leap is seven figure business, that's your positive, that means financial abundance, that means, uh, I don't know what, freedom, yes, that means freedom, that means whatever it is, like loads of good, yes, or, or positive for you, you must be able to hold with the same energy, same power, same steadiness, same magician consciousness, the exact lack of it. Lack of money, lack of opportunities, lack of clients, lack of freedom. You must have that experience and choose, ah, this is who I am. It's almost like light, dark. This is why you know, light cannot be without the dark. You see that? So this is why, is, I don't want to say I'm fed up, but it's so yesterday news 
that all I've got to do is to manifest your millions is to feel rich, you know, it's to vibe positively. And then if the negative thought comes, if something happens, if you're at the alchemical point and excuse my language, shit goes, to, shit hits the fan and everything that can go wrong, sometimes will go wrong. Sometimes it happens and you will just be there like, okay, 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 okay. okay. Negative, negative. I, you know, I'm doing something. It's crazy. No, we are allowed. We're supposed to. We must experience this as well. And with this alchemical point here is for us to learn to hold it with the same power. We can hold the opposite, the masses of money. What does that look like? So giving you an example or um, I'll, I'll say practical example okay now this is gonna be a little bit different so imagine the universe listening to you yes the un inner universe is listening to you and you activate in stage one you're going to be activating a ton of money okay maybe tangible number okay or you, you're scaling your business and uh, the universe within you hears you you activate it like ah okay 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 here's the potentiality okay okay I'm receiving it, I'm hearing it, I'm hearing it. And um, universe within you already knows, okay, fine. That potentiality that you want, you're saying you're ready for those millions. Good, 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 good. You can have it, um, you can have it, okay? You just highlighted it, you can have it, you can have it, you created it, it's, it's yours. But to actually embody it and be able to live it, I can already see that you must learn how to deal with projections coming in. Because as a powerful leader, making seven figures, making eight figures, multiple six, whatever is that goal, you are going to be triggering a lot of people. And if you don't learn how to deal with it, not only deal with it, but get to the stage where you're not even aware of those projections or those projections don't, don't affect you in any way, you drive yourself freaking crazy. So fine, what I'm going to do, universe, I'm going to create this alchemical point, one crossroad, when you will be invited to learn how to deal with those triggers and projections. Clients will turn against you. Or clients will talk publicly ugly about you or something like that. Does, it's not wrapped in a nice experience, nice human experience, but it's an invitation to let go of some form of illusion. The universe within you knows, yeah, she needs to let go of that illusion that people can hurt her. She needs to let go of that and embody, embody fully embody the knowing that nobody can hurt her because her power is so strong that it's not possible. She also needs to learn, learn that uh, nothing can be taken away from, from, from her because right now over here, she's um, thinking too much about dividing the pie, thinking like logician, you know, right now she's thinking like logician. And, uh, you know, she's thinking about competition. She's thinking about, you know, when I create something, it's mine. And God forbid somebody copies me, you know. So, so she needs to get off that illusion too. So I'll create another alchemical point here, the journey that to there, which will help her to pierce through this illusion that something can, can be take, taken away from her and embody fully that nothing can be taken away from her and nothing is hers. And she's a unique conduit of one source. Okay, good. I also know she needs to learn how to, that the source of her all, all abundance is purely her. It's not the amount of people because right now she's looking at her numbers and looking at uh, the amount of clients she has. And she takes that as evidence how much money and clients she can have tomorrow. She didn't get yet to that place. She didn't pierce through illusion that uh, the source of my money and wealth is external. So I'm going to help her with that. You've got to, because that's the way. 
to actually embody this. So that's, there's going to be another alchemical point where you're going to um, be invited to embody it and to know what is fully, even though your circumstances say otherwise. Do we start getting point of what is really happening here? This is powerful. And it is required of you to be powerful and see for what it really is. These are gifts, alchemical points, crossroads on the timelines, where through embracing the duality, piercing through illusions that no longer serve you, and be able to hold the energy of new, even though you're experiencing the old, this is how, and you say, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm in my crossroads and I'm going forward because this is who I am now. I learned how to do it. Thank you, universe. Thank you for this alchemical point. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you make some choice that will reinforce that decision, that, that choice, yes. You're stepping into embodiment, sixth stage. Embodiment of new energy. Embodiment, full embodiment of new you through these alchemical points. This is the moment when you jump the timelines, as they say. Collapse the time as they say. Beautiful. So that's the sixth stage. Now you are on trajectory. You are now, thanks to this alchemical point or points, you are choosing always new. You work through your shadows. You work through your old patterns and you take the best out of it and you continue then you embody it through the choice do we get that yes yeah? so it's only only thanks to these alchemical points that we can actually embody the new that we can actually jump those timelines so to speak they're inevitable parts so they're evidence that the quantum leap is indeed happening so stage six embodiment stage five alchemical points stage six embodiment You jump the timeline. From there, it's almost like immediate and fast. Step seven, stabilization. So here is when your energy will stabilize as a new energy. Whereas all of these stages before, you know, I mean, you activate, amazing, you feel amazing. You start getting awareness, okay? Then the new choices and decisions. And it already it comes to the point where these first stages you, you feel like, let me confirm if it's so, that I've got to hold the energy. I've heard it so many times. I've got to hold the energy. I've got to hold this new me energy. Yeah? Got to hold it. And that itself sounds so exhausting somehow, yes? But, you know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit like when somebody wants to build muscle, what we do is, you know, you actually through a little bit of stress in the muscle, you tear it so it can get stronger. And so, yes, it can feel a little, you know, like I'm going to hold the energy because you're training your vibration through this process. You are relaxing your senses into being able to translate the energetic codes of who you really are into your physical experience. You're being able to, you, you're relaxing your senses into decoding that, that vibration into your physical here and now. So it can feel the stages, you know, two, three, surely four, five, holding energy. But do know this is training your vibration. It's yes, steering that muscle, so to speak, so it can be stronger. You're filling yourself with more light. Through this process, you will become more dense in light. Your energy will become stronger and stronger and stronger. Through this process, I'm going back to the duality because that's 
uh, with who you are, you know, you, you, that's what you'll be working with. Uh, your your center, energetic self will become stronger and stronger and more dense with light, more direct reflection of that one consciousness. That's your making, your making. Okay. However, in stabilization stage, stage seven, holding energy is no longer required because you became that energy. You became that energy. You are that. You are that. It's like, it's a magical, magical thing. It's like, it's really crazy to say, really crazy to say for me now that I cannot even imagine what would have to happen for me to have less than 100K cash month. I cannot even imagine what would it take. Like, it's possibility outside of my awareness. Yet few years ago, it was like massive, you know, like, oh my God, that's my quantum leap. But this is my soul, that energy is so stabilized, so stabilized that no matter what, it's like, I know that we always, always, always a six or multiple six figure months or whatever, but it's never less than that. So this is how you'll feel about that quantum leaping, whatever it might be, that this is, wow, this is who I am. I don't need to hold the energy. I know this is who I am. I don't need to, imagine. it's just like, it's that, I'm, I mean, I am that. I don't need to keep envisioning it, reactivating it, choosing it, keep whatever. I stabilize, you stabilize in that energy. And from there, it's almost simultaneous, stage eight, it's almost simultaneous. It's sense of knowing, knowing that literally you cannot turn anything back that you already, that big manifestation, whatever it is that quantum leap is come, you, you just, you know, you cannot undo it. You know, you know, you stabilized and you know. So you just beautifully ride the wave. You're not even attached to when it's going to come, how it's going to come. You just know. You just know quietly, certainly. No. You know, because that's not who you are. That's who I am. And from there comes stage nine, manifestation. You've done it. Avalanche of everything beautiful. Stage nine, manifestation. So re let's recap these nine stages very briefly, just names. And let's talk a few more things that what you need. And I've talked plenty along the way to navigate them successfully. So stage one, activation. Stage two, new, higher awareness. Stage three, new, higher choices and decisions. Stage four, movement forward, quantum action. Stage five, alchemical points. Stage six, embodiment of new. Stage, and this is jumping the timeline. Stage seven, stabilization of your new energy. Stage eight, knowing. Stage nine, manifestation. And you'll go like that again and again and again and again and again. For someone who's been circling maybe in the first few stages here, and, you know, is not experienced, let's say here, it, it may feel like, you know, I mean, I want to hear first, is this information useful? Is this information useful? It's, I think it's useful because it takes a little bit of unknown, you know, it can still feel not easy, you know, because it's um, maybe new or you know, maybe you haven't done that many quantum leaps, maybe you haven't gone through this process many times, and that's fine. It's like with driving a car, you know, you at the beginning, you don't know, but it's useful to know what it takes to drive a car. So it may still feel a little, you know, tricky, but at least you know what it takes, right? <laughs> so this is what we've done today to give you that little bit instruction manual, what it takes. Now it's up to you to navigate it successfully, to practice it, because when you do, you believe me, you're going to become excellent freaking driver and when you are in your highest level of leadership and creating quantum leaps on demand again and again and creating miracles 
and quantum growth and all the amazing, beautiful and phenomenal that becomes, that belongs to you, you just become seasoned and really good at this, navigating this rapidly. Women leaders in their full power navigate through illusions very rapidly, pierce through them and on to next and on to next. This can become a beautiful game because it is game of life, beautiful game. Life is tempting you. Come here, come here, come here. This is how you surrender to it and gracefully navigate it. So what else you need? Well, we mentioned some things and I did some notes. But probably the most important ones, you know, that, that we already mentioned at the beginning, but I'm going to reiterate now, is that this is not about what do you need to do to make it happen, even though doing action will be part of this. But that's not, it's not a step-by-step -step process. What do I need to do first, second, third? I hear it so often, Lenka, tell me what to do. What do I actually do to make my millions? What do I actually do? And you know what sometimes I say? I have no freaking idea what do you do. <laughs> no idea. Because I know it's not about that. What you're doing, your choices, got to come from the powerful energy first and foremost. So it's not the, the doing, the strategy, the, what to do, the choices must be extension of form of your energy. So this is not as much about doing, even though it will be part of it, but this is about energetic journey. It's about closing emotional gap, closing that gap between who you are today and who you think, you know, how you feel today and how you think you will feel when you have what you want to have. Close that gap today. Close it now. Start closing it now. Find that abundance, that pleasure, that joy, that freedom in now. Bring that end outcome into now emotionally and you can do it. If you don't know in any way how to do it, certainly what you can do is to uh, gratitude, gratitude for all you have, what you've done, who you are for all your life, little things, big things, gratitude, 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 and excitement for what's coming. That'll do. That's a great starting point. Bring the energy, close the emotional gap. You're going to be closing perceptional gap. This journey is about closing perceptional gap, who I think I am versus who I really am. Perception must match. Belief gap, you're closing belief gap. What do I know and believe about myself, about the world, about the money, about the people? As my old self, as the self that continues recreating the same circumstances? And as the new self, it's 100% energetic journey. What do I do? They'll come to you in the new awareness. Certainly learn, continue to learn. Learn different strategies. Learn from people who you're looking up, up, up to. Learn potential different ways how to do things. But then nobody is going to give you the way. Nobody can give you the way. Not even I can give you your specific what to do <laughs> to make your quantum leap. It can come only from you, new awareness, stage two. It can come only from you. In that moment, your incredible intuition will sift through all the learnings you're accumulating over the years, all the information that's available to you and not available to you, and pull it down and boom, this is my next step. Okay? Secondly, you want to be very that your awareness wants to be like over here. You want to get uh, to know in nuances, the voice of your victim, voice of your inner child, voice of your prostitute, voice of your logician. When do they come to this part of the process and know how to work with them? You wanna get to know them intimately. You're human and work with your human. So it's, you're not standing in your own way, okay? And then environment. It's way easier if you're having that web of possibilities and walking this journey in an environment where everyone is doing it rather than you as a sole human, I'm doing this myself, okay? 
So if you're not in one of my programs or somebody else's programs that you deeply resonate, that holds that potentiality for you and will hold that potentiality for you and will guide you through, get the best support you can because it matters. Your environment, proximity matters. Yes? Of course. Should it be my programs? I'll be honored. Ask for a call. Monica, one of my dear clients, is facilitating calls in recent months. She loves them. She loves them and clients love them too. Where you can explore. Right, okay. I'm resonating with Linka's energy. I know she'll be a great holder for me. But I don't know what to do or how to do it. What's next? Take the call with Monica. She'll help you. She will not do decision for you, but she'll tune into you. Areas you've got to work on and help you. Yeah? So. We've done a lot of work today. We've done a lot of work today. Would you agree? Now it's time to do it, to be it. Be it. Dearly love you. Believe in you. 